Led by our marshal, the nine pacers for this evening's first race are on the track. Here's your field. Number one, Broadway Bravado and Dave Maxwell. Number two is Broadway Publicity and Sam Widger. Number three, Dealing Fella, Brent Holland. Number four, HP's Fashion and Art Gregory Jr. Number five, Pepper Quake and Brian Carpenter. Number six, Anxious Eddie and Dean McGee. Number seven, Colligan and Scott Robbins. Eight, Boru Do It, Fred Finn Jr. And number nine, Chire Hill, Al Henninger. No changes in tonight's first race, first half of the early daily double, but in tonight's second race, number five, Lord Tarby, has been scratched. There's Perfecta and Superfecta wagering on this first race. They'll reach the starting gate in four minutes at 7.45. Now let's check in at Maywood. They're off in pacing. Coming away quickly in the center of the racetrack is HP's Fashion. Down at the rail, Broadway Bravado driving out. And from between horses, Pepperquake came away alertly. Into the first turn they go, and HP's Fashion has made the lead by a length and a half. Broadway Bravado is second. Pepperquake is up on the outside to be third. Racing in fourth is Dealing Fella. Coming away fifth is Colligan. Then racing sixth is Broadway Publicity. In seventh is Anxious Eddie. The trailers are Boru Do It and Chire Hill. A field of nine as they pace by an opening quarter in 28 and four. Moving by the grandstands for the first time. Up on the outside, Pepper Quake to put a nose in front, but HP's Fashion holds the rail second. Then it's Broadway Bravado getting the perfect trip in third, a gap of three lengths back to a Dealing Fella in fourth. Racing up on the outside, fifth is Broadway Publicity. Down on the inside, sixth is Colligan. On the move in seventh goes Anxious Eddie. The trailers still Chire Hill and Boru do it as they wind their way past the half. 58 and 2. On to the back stretch they go in HP's fashion. Leads it a length on the outside. Pepper Quake going a tough trip. Second, Broadway Bravado is third. Moving up three wide into fourth. There goes Broadway Publicity. Coming on on the outside, fifth is Colligan. Racing three wide into sixth is Anxious Eddie. Retreating on the rail, seventh is Dealing Fella. Moving up on the outside in eighth is Boru Do It. Chire Hill still the trailer as they move into the upper turn. HP's fashion is the one to catch. He's on top by two. Three quarters in 128 and one, and it's HP's fashion drawing clear by two and a half. Broadway Bravado is second. Colligan comes on to the outside third. Anxious Eddie also gaining three wide fourth. They turn for home, and HP's fashion leads it by two. Broadway Bravado getting set to come out of the pocket second. Colligan continues to gain in the center of the racetrack. Through the stretch, HP's fashion a half length. Broadway Bravado trying to get through on the inside. Colligan on the outside coming down to the wire. Broadway Bravado gets through, and he wins it a half length. Colligan was second, close for third. In tonight's first race, number one, Broadway Bravado is your unofficial winner. It's a photograph for second. Please hold all tickets. Let's check in at Maywood. Ladies and gentlemen, we're 11 minutes away from Maywood's first race. In this first race, Joe Marsh Jr. drives number eight, Adams Boy. Track is sloppy. 11 minutes to Maywood's first. Returning to the winner's circle is number one, Broadway Bravado. Broadway Bravado is a five-year-old gelding by Broadway Express out of the Gamecock Mare Game Gypsy. Owned by Ray Dubio, George Spory, and Charles Tomas. Trained by Rocco Giambroncono. Driven to victory tonight by Dave Maxwell. Broadway Bravado paced the mile in two minutes and one-fifth. 